national title. Look at that. These guys will be loving this right now. We're gonna go have a look at this. Great shots on the ultimate screen and right around the country. Great job, King Aurora, we're lighting up the sky. Keep that energy. Because we're gonna form them up four wide pretty quickly. Nice track. Cruz, can I have some noise for your drivers? Beautiful stuff, Rainbow White's around. Back straight, can I have some noise? We can't pass the bar in turns three and four. What a sight in motorsport. This is the Motorsport Promotions Australian Mod Life title. Look at this place. A massive feel. Oh, have oh. a look at that on the screen, folks. Absolutely. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Good job. Thank you very much. Terrific job to all our officials and volunteers. The Mod Lights have done a terrific job this weekend. And the Chief Steward will call them into rows of two. And we're about to fire them away for 30 laps. Okay, time to get serious. Tuck them in rows of two. Let's run through it again. Neil Gregson, Sam Golshowski off the front row. Kyle Honor, Clinton Hansey off the second row. Sean Butcher, Brent Halliday off the third. Fourth row is Nathan Pellich and Stephen Collins. Next row is Dan Lewis and Dylan Hunter. Sam Rose, Terry Leerenfeldt. Next row, Chris Waugh, Travis Barron, Nick Keeley and Leroy Martin. Then we've got Scott Leefeldt and Richard Mapp. Casey Collins and Julian Ollie. Kurt Granbury and Chris Crow and Josh Smith and Harvey Oliver. It's 30 laps and at the end of it we will have a brand spanking new Australian Mod Light Champion. Lights are gone out. No, Whoa, out. here we go. Still yellow. Still oh, yellow. yellow. Okay. One more rolling lap to settle the nerves, Paul. They'd be starting to feel the butterflies. And they'd be starting to get all a little bit funny in it. Jamie McHugh won the first two Mod Light national titles. Terry Leerenfeld has won two. Aaron Prosser has won one. Clinton Hansey won last year. He's the defending champion of position number four. Have a look at this field. It's magnificent. Our very own Travis Barron is out there, the club president, number 31. And yellow lights are being turned off. And the 2019 Australian Mod Light Championship for Motorsport Promotions is close to going green here. A massive crowd in the house and a huge audience watching right around the world. Gregson and Golseski on the front row, Paul, and this is Aussie title time. Hang on to your coonskin hats, folks. Here we go. Neil Gregson on the inside. Sam Golchewski on the outside. Go where are they sing. Have a look at them side by side. Gregson on the inside. It's Golchewski on the outside that gets the better of the jump. Clinton Hansey's going with him. Side by side around the western corner and down the main straightaway to complete one of the 50-left journey. 
and Clinton Hansey down on the inside of Gilchewski as they head towards the western corner once again. Watch the car 12. Clinton Hansey looking for some bite down low. It's not there. Sam Gilchewski up high. Back in position number three is Kyle Honor as they go underneath the pit gate and around to the western corner up high on the track. It's the 74 car of Sam Gilchewski. Clinton Hansey is in car 12. Car 5 is Kyle Honor. Next one through there is Neil Gregson settling down to argue the point. The rest of the field pretty well spread out and we'll see a lot of lapping of cars over the 50 lap journey. Another one down for our race leader, Sam Gilchewski, careering away into the western corner he goes. Clinton Hansey in two. Next one is Kyle Honor. They've dropped off the uh, pole sitter at the moment, Neil Gregson, who's coming under some pressure from Brent Halliday, the Western Australian. Next one back there is uh, Sam Sean Rose coming quickly into contention. Run in trouble was the uh, 32 car and then disposed of him as they put a lap down on him in the journey. But have a look at the lead. Sam Gilchewski in car number 74. Next one in his sights is the 11 car who calls it quits and brings it onto the infield. Gilchewski underneath position number 5. Kyle Honor, one in trouble is car number 12. Clinton Hansey's out of it. So we will have a brand new uh, national champion. Next one in their sights is the 229 car of Jackson. Down the outside goes Gilchewski, puts a lap on him. Car 5, Kyle Honor, they're still chasing. Back there in position, number 3 will be Brent Halliday in the 24 car. Next one through in the 56 is Sean Rose and on the outside of him is Terry Lewenfeld trying desperately to get towards the front of the field. Down underneath the control tower, 10 laps of the journey completed. Sam Gilchewski in the 74 car. He's in the western corner, he's got a fairly big lead. Back to Kyle Honor, I think we've got a yellow one. That's red, that was a big crash, a massive rollover on the back straight there. Wow, went end for end for end, that was... Wow, a big crash there indeed as we are read in the national championship. The safety crew were quick on the job there. In a big moment, you can see Richard Mapp moving around in the car, which is good news. Just kind of make sure Nick is doing okay. Grab Richard quickly. Uh, Richard, we'll grab you here, mate. Uh, hey, Ronnie. Come on, mate. That's uh, not the way we want to talk to you, mate. No, nah, that's uh, not the best way, but um, as long as Nick's okay, I'm, um, you know, I'm all right. But, um, car's fixable, so, but, um, yeah, as they say, uh, it happens. It certainly does, mate. Not the way you want it in the Aussie title. No, nah, no, nah, definitely not. So, um, but it's been a great event, and um, just want to thank everyone here that's um, put on a great show. Uh, Mod Lights Australia, um, Mod Lights Queensland, and everyone in the sponsors, the sedan people, everyone involved in that. So, it um, takes lots of good volunteers to um, make a uh, good show. So, thanks to everyone, and thanks to the locals for coming out. So, good on you, mate. Well said. I couldn't have said that any better myself. And Nick. He's got his helmet off now, and just taking his time, he's suddenly knocked the wind out of him a little bit. He's talking conscious, that's okay. He's needing a couple of minutes there. He's in the good hands. No question about that.
good news actually as Nick Keeley gets from the car here folks please put your hands together he's out under his own esteem terrific news for the young kid he's fresh out of junior sedans and there he is walking to the stretcher himself which is great news over and done with 21 laps still to go be a big process past the witch's hat for the restart. Single file, remember, you can't pass anybody until you are past that witch's cap. And 74 it is, Sam Galczewski, who was a little bit slow on the pedal as car number five, Kyle Honor, up on the inside of him, and they're going to race side by side around the western corner for the first lap of the restart. Galczewski up high, on a down low. Next one tucked in there is uh, Neil Gregson in the 17 car. Then we go back to the Terry Lierenfeld in car number 25. So four very quick motor cars up the front of this field. But right now, Kyle Honor has the honour of being in the front of the field. Sam Galchewski is in position number two, a battle royal developing at the tail, or oh, in the position number three, car number 56 that is there is Sean Rose. Back behind him is Sam Galschewski. Then we go back into uh, Terry Lierenfeld. Down the main straightaway once again, Kyle Honor doing the honours up the front. Sam Galschewski would be the next one. Then we've got Sean Rose tucked in behind him was their pole sitter. Another big one in turn number two. A car flying through the air brings the red ones on. We need a quick dispatch here, Paul. Going racing straight away. Can we get the 17 laps completed? It's been an incident packed one, and let's get it finished. Kyle Honor leads them to the start finish line. Gets a good start from Sam Galchewski. The one coming at a great rate of knots is Sean Rose. And Rose has gone into position. Number two is hot on the hammer right from the start. Down underneath and Sean Rose can't get the better of Kyle Honor. But stays down there. The other one in a hurry is Terry Lewenfeld. These four or five cars out the front are careering away. Have a look. At the action between the front two, Kyle Honor, Sean Rose, outside of them is Sam Galchewski. Back then we go to Neil Gregson in there, Terry Lewenfeld. We've got car 48 in there as well, that's Nathan Pollich. So all the big guns up the front of the field. While this is happening, Kyle Honor has once again been able to steal a little bit of time from the pursuing cars, one up high on the boards. Was uh, Neil Gregson gets it back on the drive line. We go back to our race leader, Kyle Honor. Down the main straight away he goes. Back behind him is Sean Rose. Then we go to Sam Belshewski. Next one is Terry Lewenfeld. In there too is uh, Nathan Pollich. No doubt about the race leader. Down the main straight away, going up towards the fence where the drive line is. And that's Kyle Honor. We're down to 12 laps to go in the event. Still chasing him in the 56 car is Sean Rose. As they go careering down the main straightaway, they've dropped off Sam Galchewski for the moment. And also Terry Lierenfeld, who's got his hands full with Neil Gregson and uh, Nathan Pollich. Race leader, round the western corner he goes. And down the main straightaway, and that's car number five, Kyle Honor. Probably closing the gap a little bit is a Sean Rose and behind them is Sam Galchewski. Then a fair sort of gap back to Neil Gregson as they go down the main straight away yet again. And yes, if anything, car 56, Sean Rose is slowly but surely closing the gap on our race leader, Kyle Honor. Almost up on his tail around the western corner and heading down the main straight away. Kyle Honor, the other one back in there in contention is Sam Galchewski, who's found some ride up high on the racetrack, 
and is going to have a go at Sean Rose around the western corner. And while Sean Rose has got his hands full with Kilchewski, that allows Kyle Honor to skip away again a little bit. Next one is Neil Gregson. Then we go back to Terry Lewenfeld and Nathan Pollich. Race leader in the western corner and down the main straight. Fairly evenly set out now, but car number five, Kyle Honor, has still got now Sam Galchinski chasing. Then dropped off Sean Rose, who's dropped way out of contention out of it, and has now Neil Gregson attacking him for position number three. Under the control tower with five to go, and five is in front. Kyle Honor. Kyle Honor has got Sam Galchewski on a mission behind him. Down the main straight. Car in front is car 49. They will move underneath him. And we've got a new race leader. Galchewski's taken over. Kyle Honor tries to come back on the inside. Is successful in doing so. They're side by side again. Down the main straight away. Throw a blanket over both of them. Kyle Honor on the inside. Galchewski on the outside. And then back to Neil Gregson. But it's car five. Who's got the drive down the back straight and into the race lead. Let's it drift a little high. We've got a yellow one. And we've got... A big cloud of smoke. It's Terry Lewenfeld's car. Wow. Yeah. A big fire there, Paul, and the guys are very quick on a terrific job. And we're going to have a grandstand finish here, aren't we? This Gregson is crawling and rose a bit of Morse code there. As the intensity lifts now with three laps remaining. There are lots of hand signals there. Did you see that? They're pumped up with three laps remaining here. Kyle Honor is your race leader. He go, he'll go to the bottom. Jaseski will go to the top. This one is far from done, Paul, with three to go. A hey, big sprint right to the end, Kyle Honor leads them to the witch's hat. It'll be a big charge from behind him and he knows he's got three laps. Kyle Honor, Sam Galchewski, here comes the 56 of Sean Rose up the inside of Neil Gregson. Gregson fights back. We got two together at the front. Two fighting out position number three. Side by side. Outside is car five. That's Kyle Honor. Inside was Sam Galchewski. That's a big wreck for oh. Gregson. He's gone in at a thousand mile. Oh, wow. That was a big wreck for the charts and a big decision for some officials to make here as we're almost four wide for the lead there. Gregson has thrown the steering wheel and have a look at the damage of this. Oh. Okay. Sam Jolseski has a flat tyre and he has been sent rear of the field for the incident. And you should see how bent the steering wheel is on the Neil Gregson machine. Wow. Have a look at this. This is the steering wheel. Normal steering wheel. Watch this. Ready? That's a little ugly. Look at that. Up on the ultimate screen. Because when you like this and it's going whack. And that's made a mess. Here's the replay on screen right now. Oh. Oh. So that's how it all played out. Let's go to the super slow-mo of it. Look, Sean Rose off the bottom, and he makes contact with Jolszewski there, and Jolszewski rockets into Gregson, 
And Gregson's gone in at a rapid rate of knots. He is out of the car and A-OK. -okay. Which is good news because that was a big hit. Here's another angle of it on screen right now. Sean Rose there, the contact with Dolceski, which rockets him in, into, into Gregson. So we've got two laps remaining in the Aussie title for motorsports promotion. It's chaotic. Hasn't this taken some time? Look at the lap counter, Paul. 47 minutes. We're going to tick on 48 minutes to get this done. That's why we left some time to get these Aussie titles done. And we certainly didn't think this one would take this long. Here's another re replay from the infield. Another angle of it, and that is a, a big contact, isn't it? Glad that everyone's A-OK. -okay. Scott Layfelt gets pushed away from Toowoomba. Joel Shesky is still out there with a flat right rear. And the order on track at the moment is Kyle Honor, Sean Rose, Nathan Pollich, Scott Layfelt is slots up into four, and Chris Ware Joshewski's out with the flat right rear. Okay, we're down. Two laps remaining, folks. I got Neil here very quickly, mate. Hard luck. Uh, yeah, mate, that sucks to run uh, 29 laps side by side with most of the field and then get stuck in the fence by someone trying to pull a side job. So it's unfortunate for Sammy that he's had to go to the back and get a cut down tyre. It definitely wasn't his fault. Uh, sorry to everyone. We're having a pretty good crack at it there. Thought it might have been our first podium in this class in a national title. So looks like we'll have to go to Broome and see how we go. Good on you, mate. All the best. Yes, they go to Broome in WA next season for the national title. There's two laps remaining, Paul. Kyle on us. Sean Rose. Got a life. He has seriously got a lifeline there. Maybe I saw it wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting silly. Nathan. Pollich is third, and that's your top three with two laps remaining for motorsport promotions. Paul, here we come. Right, hey folks, here we go. Kyle Honor leads Sean Rose and Nathan Pollich. That's the front three. Remember, you invited to the trophies, and Kyle Honor knows there's a couple to go. Green white checker, can he hold on? Down on the inside, Sean Rose arrives. Back then to the 48 car of Nathan Pollich as they go round the western corner and down the main straightaway should be a white flag waiting for him. He's done it. Oh, yeah. Followed by Nathan Pollich. On the outside of him in the 55 car is a Scott Lethal. We've got him sideways in the back straightaway again. We're in the final lap. And a... Uh, wow. It has become absolute chaos. And Sean Rose heard an engine. That's what all that happened. The car slowed down. Look at him blow up on the infield. As Rose climbs from the car, he is furious. The car expired. And then the concertina happened behind him as the hook is required once again. It's going to take. Green right out. checker yeah. again. Okay, up on the uh, on the screen. Watch it, folks. And you can see it right here, Paul. Look, and that's his car expiring, and there was a car parked behind. And actually, for a second there, I thought, oh, here we go again. You know. 
thankfully not. As Casey Collins on screen, just wrong place, wrong time. Hard luck for Casey, former former state junior sedan champion. Scott Liefeld in position number three. It'll be to the outside of the witch's hat, and we've got two laps. Green one, Kyle Honor, Nathan Pollich on the outside. It's Scott Liefeld. That's the way they go down the back straight and into the western corner, hopefully for the second last time. Down the main straight, car number five, Kyle Honor. There's a battle royal for position. Number two, outside it's Scott Liefeld. And he's gone into position number two. Nathan Pollich is back there in three. Stand up and cheer, folks. Here it comes. Australian champion, Kyle Honor. Scott Liefeld. Nathan Pollich. Well, what a drive. The Q5 gets the win in the Australian Championship. Put your hands together for him as he rolls by your 2019 Australian champ. Yes, he will do a lap of honour, folks, with the chequered flag. Stand and cheer for him. It took a long, long time to get there, but we've finally got it. And don't forget, the end of proceedings, we've still got the modified national title to go. You are invited to the trophy presentation. Lap of honour time for Kyle Honour. Put your hands together for him. Fantastic. And he is the new Australia number one. And he's doing his best to blow the uh, engine to pieces in car number five. Down in that western corner, huge crowds of people here. Ed Ian Botcher Race Parts, King of Roy Speedway. Stand and cheer, wave, whatever. Call Honor, absolutely fantastic. Don't, don't go anywhere though, because you haven't seen anything yet. Modified's coming, we've got to clear these cars out of the middle. Fireworks coming, modified. Australian title coming. Place getter cars here in the modified Australian title will be impounded. I believe they're going to be kept in the infield here. Just for a quick check, make sure everything's A-OK. But Kyle Honor. It's going to stop. Well, right here with me, folks. Brand spanking you, Australia one, just having a little bit of a breather. Kyle, excellent work, fantastic, well done. Thanks mate, this is an absolutely awesome feeling. I honestly didn't think I could do it, 20 laps out, the steering, whole steering joint started to come loose, so I've just been locking it in with my knee, holding on to it, but um, a credit to all the other races mate, that was an absolute intense race. There's a couple of times me and Sammy swapped spots, and I thought, oh, he's got me here, but we managed to get it back underneath him and, um, and bring it home. So I'm absolutely stoked. Um, sad to see Gregson sitting in the fence, mate. He's been great all, all weekend. I'm devastated for him, to be honest. But anyway, um, hopefully we get over the scales we've, and then we're, it. We're, we're celebrating beers tonight. OK, let's get a close-up of that steering wheel and the problems he's had for 20 laps. Have a look at that, folks. He has held this car together with the knees around the steering column. Excellent work. Yeah, mate, that was an absolute mental. My arms are killing me, so... There he goes, folks. With that steering wheel like that, if he can drive it through the frame, he, uh, he deserves the championship, without a doubt.